What? You filthy little maggot. When I get out of here, you're dead. You hear me? Dead! This is the dark tale of the player's brutal revenge on the fork-tongued Valen Dreth and Oblivion. Returning to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, we find our vampire contract giver, Vicente Valtieri, awaiting our arrival in the main hall. Approaching him, he says, Back for more? It just so happens I have another contract available, one that requires an expert in infiltration. As always, you fail to disappoint me. Your target is a dark elf named Valen Dreth. He thinks he's safe in prison. He is tragically mistaken. A prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected to the Imperial City's sewer system. It's a perfect way inside. Just outside the Imperial Prison is a grating that leads to the sewers. It has recently been tightly locked, but I will provide a key. It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? <laughs> Valen Dreth has been imprisoned for many years. His tongue is sharp, but his body is limp and frail. He will prove an easy, pleasurable kill. You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison guards. Now go, and may the Night Mother go with you. It's then our quest, scheduled for execution, begins, and we cast our mind back momentarily to the acerbic Dreth, whose foul barbs we endured in our brief stint in the Imperial Prison. Oh, look, an Imperial in the Imperial Prison. I guess they don't play favorites, huh? Your own kinsmen think you're a piece of human trash. How sad. I bet the guards give you special treatment before the end. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here, Imperial. You're going to die. Imperial criminal scum like you give the Empire a bad name, you see. You're an embarrassment. Best if you just disappeared. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> His cruel laugh burned into our memory. Indeed, Dreth will be a pleasurable kill, however difficult to get at, being in prison and surrounded by guards. And so we approach the vampire for more details and he questions. Why does Valen Dreth still live? Breaking into the Imperial prison is difficult, I know, but the contract must be fulfilled. What are the steps to getting to Dreth? You must infiltrate the Imperial prison and kill Valen Dreth, a dark elf. He should be easy enough to eliminate once you actually get inside. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Although our target is clear, we leveraged the knowledge of our fellow assassins wisely as how best to strike at the captive Dunmar, starting with the burly orc, Gogren. You, what do you want? If our disposition is too low, he says. I can only pray that you break the tenants and surrender to the guards. I will beg Lucian for the right to kill you. Otherwise, we have to eliminate a target in the Imperial Prison. You don't mind confrontation, Gogren. How would you contend with the guards? Infiltrating the Imperial Prison is no small matter. Those guards are heavily armed and professionally trained. If discovered, don't be a fool. Flee. Later then. So... Not even Gogrin would favor a frontal assault. Speaking to the nearby crouched Argonian Ochiva, she greets. Greetings, brother. I do hope you are well. With a low disposition, she wishes. I was hoping Vicente would give you this contract. When you are captured and killed, the assignment will go to someone more competent. Otherwise, Ochiva... We're tasked with infiltrating the Imperial Prison. Have you ever broken into it, by chance? No dark brother or sister has successfully infiltrated the Imperial Prison in over 300 years. This will be a true test of your abilities. May the Night Mother guide you. So, it seems this is by far our most dangerous mission yet. We then enter the main hall and see the stealthy Antoinette Marie who complains. Why do you insist on annoying me? With low disposition, she cruelly reveals. I can only hope the prison guards do to you what they did to me. 
You will know the true definition of the word horror. Otherwise, Antoinetta, have you heard about her contract? I know you were in prison for some time. The Imperial Prison. Long did I languish there, in my youth, before the Brotherhood found me. The guards are strong and cruel. So very cruel. I'll be seeing you then. Leaving Antoinetta with that bleak thought, we're certain stealth is our best course. Sitting by a bookshelf, we then speak to the Argonian Teneva. Why do you bother me? With a low disposition, he says. You will not make it past the sewers. Of this I am certain. Otherwise, Teneva, I hear you're familiar with the Imperial sewers. I know those sewers well. They will allow you access to the prison, but are home to some fearsome creatures. Tread carefully. May Sithis be with you. So, if the guards don't get us, the creatures will. We then make our way to the living quarters to find the final assassin to speak to, the Bosma Talandril. I find your very presence foul. Say what you will and then leave my sight. With a low disposition, she scoffs. Vicente wants you to infiltrate the Imperial prison? I didn't realize you had such a good sense of humor. Otherwise, to Landril, we have a prisoner to kill. He's locked in the Imperial prison. This prisoner? Why give him a chance to escape or fight back? Pierce his heart with an arrow right through the bars of the cell. Quick and easy. May your arrows always strike true. Sithis be with you, brother. So, an arrow for Valen's heart. If we can get at him via the sewers, that is. Extracting all of the pertinent advice we can from the inhabitants of the sanctuary, we begin traveling to the Imperial City, checking our quest log that reads, I must break into the Imperial prison and kill a dark elf prisoner named Valen Dreth. I will receive a special bonus if I manage not to kill any guards. I can enter the Imperial prison through the connecting sewers, which can be accessed through a locked manhole just outside the prison walls. Vicente has provided me with a key. We arrive outside of the Imperial sewers just past dawn and look out past the familiar dock towards the northeastern ruin of Vilverin across the shore. Our arrival is bittersweet, as we'd struggled fiercely to escape these same sewers and now must retrace our steps once more. Using Vicente's key, we enter the aromatic hole that is covered by a grate and our quest updates reading. I've entered the sewers beneath the Imperial prison. I must now proceed through the sewers and into the prison itself and kill Valent Dreth. Venturing into the sewers, we find indeed that the local creatures promised by Teneva still dwell therein but thankfully, pose little threat compared to Teneva's claims, at least. Ah! It's only after retracing the maze-like path into the sewers do we find ourselves back inside the lower bowel of the prison's underground structure proper and immediately halt as we enter as two guards take a break from their patrol to converse. Of course I'm proud to do my duty, but it's a waste of time. What are we guarding? Cold stone and shadow. That's it. I'm not disagreeing with you, believe me. Those assassins got what they wanted. The Emperor is dead. They got no reason to come back. That's exactly what I'm saying. But will the Captain listen? No. We must have a presence. The prison must remain secure. Yeah, what a laugh, huh? Just who are we keeping secure? Dreth? Since that other one got away, he's the only one rotting down here. Yeah, well, I guess you can't blame Captain Montrose too much. This is his big career move, after all. Got to impress that lot upstairs. Yeah, true enough. Oh, well, I best be getting back to my watch. Hey, don't forget, we're meeting for drinks later at the Bloated Float. Oh, I'll be there. How could I miss a chance to see you cower before that big orc bouncer? <laughs> I ain't afraid of no one. Courage is my middle name. I... Oh, never mind. After the guards are done with their gossiping and split off to resume their watch, our quest then breaks into two distinct parts. First, 
Let's explore what happens if we ignore the warnings of our fellow assassins and opt to fail to obtain Valtieri's bonus by cutting a swath through the guards to get to Dreth, although we will take a slight twist on said murderous path. And so we head through the door to our left to find ourselves confronted by the Red Guard who bellows out to his comrades for aid. To arms! Ah! Oh! Although we have now technically failed the quest's parameters to receive a bonus, the guard has on his person an imperial prison key, as do his comrades. Interestingly, instead of fighting a throng of guards and being potentially overwhelmed, we can instead simply about face and exit the sewers as the key to the imperial prison cannot be pickpocketed until this quest and leveraging this unique item, we can instead return to the prison and are able to stroll down to the cells without resistance. Inside, we see the Dunma Dreth standing in his familiar first cell on our left, and remember the Bosma Talandral's claim, it's best if we snipe Dreth between the bars. Unfortunately, game mechanics come between us and our prey. Seeing his cell is locked, we look around and see to the northwest end of the hall, an absent-minded guard has left Dreth's cell key on the table. Either that or thanks to the intervention of the servants of Sithis. Returning to the dirty Dunma, he pleads. You've got to get me out of here. Come on, open the door. We then open the grating as he requests and fire a single arrow limply into his torso, killing the surprised dark elf with ease. <clears throat> a quest then updates reading. The contract has been fulfilled, but I was unable to prevent the death of any guards. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with Vicente Valtieri to receive my reward. Unfortunately, the bonus is forfeit. We can then return whence we came through the prison's main door and make our way back to the sanctuary in Chaden Hall. Upon our arrival, a disappointed Vicente will state, Valen Dreth lies dead, but why the unsanctioned bloodshed? You seem to lack discipline. Here is your reward, but I'm afraid the bonus is forfeit. But what happens if we fulfill the contract, gain the bonus, and then learn more about Dreth and his imprisonment? Well, instead, when entering the prison catacombs, we turn right where the guards had forked off, leveraging a chameleon spell as to avoid detection, as there is a small easter egg in this room, though it is difficult to go undetected. After narrowly bypassing the first guard, must have been the wind, we enter a small hallway lined with candles and quickly realize this is where the Emperor Uriel Septim was slain. Stealthily entering the room and sleuthing by the guard in the corner, we see to our right a silver short sword, imperial shield, and some nightshade in a makeshift memorial. At the northeastern corner of the room, we find sitting one Captain Jeppard Montrose. Lying on top of the table in front of him is a standard mythic dawn hooded robe. The mystery of why the captain is staring at said robe is soon revealed, as we turn to the southern corner of the room to see a mythic dawn assassin's body strewn about a table with blood spilling to the floor and a dagger by their side. Just next to their foot is a note revealing the reason for the guard's ongoing presence in the prison depths, which reads, So far, the investigation has been inconclusive to say the least. The assassin's body has yielded no clues as to his affiliation, and we haven't even been able to ascertain the motive for the Emperor's slaying. We've gone so far as to question the local merchants about the unique garb, but have run into nothing but dead ends. The nature of the attack, the multiple assassins, the ceremonial robes, the summoned weapons and armor, it all speaks of something ritualistic. I've seen the Dark Brotherhood's handiwork more times than I care to remember, and this just doesn't fit their usual pattern. I guess that's what worries me. We're not dealing with the unknown, and I'll be damned if I know how to handle it. Captain Jepard Montrose, postscript. I've instructed the men to dump the rest of the assassins' bodies into the sewers. Let them serve as food for the vermin. It's more than those bastards deserve. The Imperial Guard don't even know that it was the mythic dawn behind the Emperor's assassination yet. A prime example of the ineptitude of Philida's lapdogs. We then head back into the main chamber where the Red Guard stands watch. Making our way past him is incredibly difficult, yet we slip by by the skin of our teeth. 
It's only after sleuthing past multiple guards do we finally find ourselves closer to our quarry. Seeing the original cave we had plumbed in the tutorial area, now covered by boards, although it should be noted interestingly, the prison and sewers from the start of the game is actually a different area completely, and this is an updated duplicate the player visits once they've left the original tutorial. Ascending the final stairs, we finally see, at the northeastern wall, a cave entrance to our familiar cell, which invites us in. We climb up the short stone ramp to overhear Dreth conversing with the guard. I have to admit, I'm gonna miss you, Dreth. The late night beatings, your pitiful little cries for help. Filthy cur. I told you I was going to get out of here. My time's almost up, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, well, what's it been? Seven, eight years? We've had a good long run, you and me. I always knew it would end someday. Eleven! Eleven years in this rat-infested hole! But I'm getting out, and you'll still be stuck in here! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah? Where will you go, huh? What will you do? You can't survive out there, Dreth. You're an animal. You belong in that cage. I'll remember that when I'm lying on the beaches of Somerset Isle with your wife. You Imperial pig! Right! And you'll be rich, too! Oh, and you'll become a king! And you know what I think, Dreth? <laughs> I think you'll be back. You lot always come back. You'll see, you Imperial dog. When I get out of here, all of Tamria will know my name. Valen Dreth! Valen Dreth! All right, all right. I'm tempted to let you out right now if you just shut up. After the guard moves out of sight, we slowly push open our rusty cell door and stride towards our target, who beseeches. You've got to get me out of here. Come on, open the door. As we step closer into the light to unlock his cell, Dreth then has a wave of recognition and exclaims. Wait, I, I know you. You, you're the one. The, the day the Emperor was killed. They went through your cell. You lucky bastard! But you came back? Come on, you've got to help me. Let old Valen out of this cell. You've got your freedom, now give me mine. What do you say, huh? Come on, friend. We can, as always, opt to say nothing. What's the matter with you, huh? You some kind of mute or something? I saw you escape. Now you're crazy enough to come back? Or the Night Mother says goodbye. The Night Mother... No! No! Guards! Guards! Help me! Somebody help! Assassin! And finally, remembering his jeers from our time in the cell, we gleefully mirror. You're going to die in here, Dreth. You hear that? Well, the guards aren't coming to help you. <laughs> what? You filthy little maggot. When I get out of here, you're dead. You hear me? Dead! Attempting to speak to an enraged Dreth, he then threatens. You dare torment me? Valen Dreth, let me out of this cell, you fetid piece of guadong! Unfortunately for Valen, we remember his key at the end of the hall and casually stroll back to his cell and release the caged Dreth, who impotently fights for his life. To Valen's credit, he comes out swinging. Unfortunately, his muscles have withered and his blows land impotently on our shield. The only assault left in his arsenal, a pitiful taunt, before we cruelly cave his skull in with our mace. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death! A <laughs> quest then updates and reads, Valen Dreth is dead, and no guards have been killed. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with Vicente Valtieri to receive my reward, as well as a bonus. We then hurriedly equip a guard's outfit and exit the Imperial prison as one of their own. Undetected, we step out of the prison warden's chambers and nearly bump into Adamus Philida himself. The old fool stares at us, but his gaze is vacant. Clearly his prime is long behind him, and so we're free to casually meander through the belly of the beast, unaccosted, heading back to Chaden Hall. 
Some time later, we find ourselves away from the dangers of the Imperial City and once again in the bosom of the Night Mother's Sanctuary. And it's there we see Valtieri mid-conversation with our old friend Mirage Da. After their conversation, he Walk greets. in the shadow of Sithis. You are like a dark gift from the Night Mother herself. Please, tell me how I can help. So, you infiltrated the Imperial prison, eliminated Vale and Dreth, and killed not one guard. Most excellent. In addition to your standard reward, I present to you this bonus. Behold, the scales of pitiless justice. While carried, the scales will magically enhance your strength, intelligence, and agility, but diminish your personality. A powerful tool indeed. So, with all the clues the developers have given us, as they have also hinted heavily in the past at the contract giver's identity, let's attempt Get to divine who put the hit on Dreth. Reddit user Amborzig Platz Jeberon posits a plausible theory with the evidence available. The quest bonus has been linked to a possible identity of the contract initiator, the bonus being predicated on not killing guards. And who would care about an Imperial Guard's life other than perhaps other guards, as the bonus isn't forfeit if you're identified, only if you murder a sentry. But if it was a fellow guard, what is their possible motive? Well, we overhear multiple patrolmen complain about being stuck in the sewers for a prolonged period in the captain's effort for a promotion. We also learn that the captain, Japard Montrose, has no leads as to the identity of the Emperor's assassin, and therefore their occupation of said sewer may be indefinite. Third, and perhaps most damning, when sneaking into the captain's chamber, we notice something out of place, yet familiar. Two nightshade flowers. At first, it seems like a simple offering for their fallen emperor. But casting our mind back to the first black sacrament we witnessed in Claudius Arcadia's house, we see everything needed to commit the taboo act in Montrose's office of the black sacrament, including a dagger, fallen mythic dawn corpse or corpses, as he explicitly stated, he had the guards toss other bodies in the sewers, disposing of the needed skull, heart, and skin extracted to perform the ritual. Yeah, well, I guess you can't blame Captain Montrose too much. This is his big career move, after all. Got to impress that lot upstairs. So with all clues pointed towards the guards, or even perhaps a captain in over his head and looking for an escape, there is one loose end left. How did Dreth end up in prison in the first place? Well, thanks to his familial legacy of lies, we can overhear the tale told by one Romlin Dreth in Riften during the events of Skyrim. Have I told you about Valen, my dear? I love when you spin that yarn. It gets better every time you add something new. He killed six Imperial Guards before they dragged him into the prisons. Was this before or after the Mythic Dong attacked the Emperor and Valen single-handedly fought them off? Just shut up and drink, Romlin. 